Okay, so the next step that we're going to do uh, in our shop facade is to do a bulkhead. We want to change the color to black. So one of the first steps that we need to do is to create a new layer. So we're going to rename this layer black bulkhead and you can do that by just clicking down on the little icon at the bottom and create the new layer. So to get our selection, we need to make sure that we're on the right tool and we're going to use the polygonal lasso tool. Best thing to do it is to use your navigator and zoom right in. It's really important that you click on the, uh, the correct areas. Um, start by the outside uh, and come in to your selection, keeping your line nice and straight as you go down and make sure you click on all the points that you want covered. And then go right back to the very start and make sure that um, your lines align um, and then just click on that and it will select your selection. So we've got our marching ants, now we want to fill in the bulkhead. So go down to your paint bucket tool and we're going to click on the foreground colour and change that to black. And then all we need to do is click on the bulkhead. Okay, so our selection is now black and to uh, deselect that, make sure that you go back to your rectangle mark marquee tool and click deselect. Okay, now just to get rid of any of those uh, unwanted areas, use your marquee tool, select the area and just click delete. And then you can go to the other side, do the same thing. So remember you're just using the marquee tool, just creating an area that you don't want around it and just click delete and these will delete any unwanted areas um, that you don't want. Okay, so scroll back out and we can see what we've created with the black bulkhead. Now while we're here we're going to work on our signage. So you can see over there that the black bulkhead is actually over our sign so we need to just make a few corrections there. So the best thing to do that is uh, to use your magnifying glass and zoom in just so we can get an accurate selection around our signage box. So like we've done before uh, reduce the opacity down to 50% just so we can see the selection that we're making. Go back to uh, the polygonal lasso tool and you're going to select around um, the objects that you uh, that you want to get rid of. Okay, So at the moment we're wanting to get rid of that um, the black um, so that the, uh, the signage can be seen through. So get rid of any, any un, uh, unwanted areas um, select them, delete them, use the brush tool to fill in any of the uh, areas that you don't want to keep. Deselect, you can see there that we've still got a little bit of um, the underneath layer coming through. So make sure that you just click around the edges using your lasso tool again and uh, use the paintbrush to get rid of any unwanted areas. And then uh, right click and deselect. Zoom back out and you can now see that our signage tool uh, sorry, our signage can be uh, seen through using the tools that we just used. Okay, so we're going to take this opportunity to now continue working on the signage. So what we want to do is first make sure that we're on the right layer. So bring in the wood texture, use the navigator to zoom out. Uh, we're going to uh, select it, um, make sure we're on the correct layer first. Command T, transform it and uh, we're just going to shrink it down a little bit in size just so that it's uh, about the right size and then we're going to uh, position it so we can uh, see what we're working with. Now we're going to work with the three sides of the signage. First of all we're going to work out the face of it and uh, then we're going to work with the base and then also the sides taking into consideration the, the grain or uh, the direction of the grain of the wood. So we're going to shrink it down a little bit further. Before we move on, we need to duplicate uh, this texture. So uh, go across to your layer, right click, duplicate layer. And uh, we're just going to call this wood texture uh, one for the moment. Um, and then all you need to do is drag it across to the right. We're going to uh, rotate it 90 degrees straight away just so we get the direction of the wood grain right. Then go back to your original layer and then we're going to duplicate that also so we can get it for the base. So we're just going to click OK, drag it down so we get them in position. Uh, so we've got the front, right and base and just rename those layers according to uh, to where they are. So at the moment we're just going to rename the base 
and uh, then we're going to go up to Wood Texture 1, um, make sure that we're on the correct layer, and we're going to rename that the right hand side, so RHS. Okay, so now that we've got that, we need to go back to our original layer, um, and we're going to position that in a, in a corner. Uh, use your navigator, zoom right in, you want to make sure that your edges align. We're going to use that opacity tool again and decrease it to 50% so we can see where we're doing it. Command T, distort, and then we're going to just drag it down so it matches the, uh, the angle of the signage. And we're going to do that uh, also for the base, just so that it's uh, textures in perspective. And then what you're going to do is use your rectangle marquee tool, select uh, the areas that we want to get rid of. Um, for the base, you're going to have to use your polygonal lasso tool very, very carefully. Go around those edges and uh, delete any unnecessary texture there. And you can see there that we've accurately placed it. Um, zoom right in to see and then fix up the opacity back to 100% and you can see that that's the texture that we've just brought in. Um, so what we're going to do now is uh, just fix up the fix up that center part um, and we want to delete that so we've got like a nice frame of our texture so using your lasso tool again go around the outside or I should say inside um, and just make sure and then you can uh, delete that and just that will get rid of your texture. So at 100%, you've just got a nice frame around your signage because we're going to bring in another image later. Okay, so you can see there that on our left-hand side that the edges aren't quite right, so you just go back to using your Distort tool at any time and just uh, rearrange those edges until you're happy with the way that they appear. Once you've done that, click Enter, and that's it. Okay, so what we do need to do now is to work on our other side. So we're going to click, make sure we're on the, the next layer, which will be the right hand side. Command T, we're going to uh, position that first, sorry, and Command T to reduce the size as well. Then click Enter. Then reduce the opacity again to 50%. Scroll right in, we're going to distort bring it down to those angles until you're happy with the uh, perspective of the texture and like we did for the first face of the signage we're going to use the, um, the marquee tool and delete any of those areas that we don't want again with the uh, polygon lasso tool as well get rid of any unwanted texture that you don't need and deselect so you can see that we've got some edges there that aren't quite um, Aligned. Remember that we can we can go back to that at any any time and just reassess those positions. And once you're happy with it, um, increase it back to 100% so we can see see the uh, <clears throat> the full effect of it. Now our last texture is the base. So click on the base layer before you begin. Um, click back on your uh, on your selection tool and position it into a corner. Command T, distort. I'm going to bring that back up to uh, up to that line, just so it's all in perspective again. You can use your um, arrows to um, tab it up if it's a little bit um, out. Opacity, drop the opacity down again, and using your um, polygonal lasso tool, what we're going to do this time is we're going to go around the area that we want to keep, and we're going to show you what to do next. Instead of clicking delete because that would uh, delete the area we want to keep, we're going to uh, we're going to invert our selection. So right click, select inverse, and what's going to do is it's going to select everything else. So when we click delete, it uh, doesn't get rid of our selection we want to keep, and that is a really handy way to um, quickly get rid of a large area. Put your opacity back up to a hundred percent. And zoom out so that you can see uh, the full effect that we've uh, that we've done. You can see we've missed a little bit down there. So if you have missed anything, just make sure you're on the correct layer before you go back and delete anything. Um, other than that, um, it looks like we've done a really good job. So the last thing that we need to do now is to merge those three textured layers so that we want them to be one layer. So right click merge layers and it's going to merge those three textures into one layer now so that we can easily keep track of it if we need to change it. What we need to do now is just rename our, um, our, name our texture 
and uh, we're just going to change it to wood texture signage and click enter and that is the signage created to now bring in our other layer for our signage so uh, what we want to do is just bring in that layer so turn the eye icon on drag it down a little bit so that we can uh, see the full image and we want to use the uh, marquee tool and uh, go around the area that we want to select we're going to do something a little different here so what we're going to do to copy it across is we're going to right click and we're going to layer via cut and you can see on the right hand side that it's brought in a completely new layer so what you want to do now is to rename it so YMC signage that's what we're going to call it um, just so we know and uh, as you see um, what we're going to do now is delete the layer so the one that we originally had is now gone and we are now left with our new signage of uh, this smaller image so uh, firstly we're going to just position it in the corner shrink it down slightly so we know that it's going to fit in obviously we've got to make some changes to it but just make sure that it's roughly the size that we want uh, using your uh, magnifying glass zoom in and uh, right click and we're going to distort it so just drag it up into the right hand corner and down into the bottom left just so that it's in perspective here now um, I wouldn't worry too much about your image being pixelated because we are zoomed in at uh, 472 uh, percent if you zoom it back to 100 you won't even be able to see that the image is pixelated or not so uh, while you're working closely don't worry that it is pixelated we need to be able to see it that close so what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to uh, firstly select using the eyedropper uh, the colour of the background, it's going to create a new layer and we're going to call this the signage background and what we're going to do is keep uh, that uh, dark colour uh, so that we can apply it to, uh, to the rest of the signage box. So using the lasso tool go around the edges and because we've already used the eyedropper earlier to select the colour, you can do it again just quickly, um, it'll pick up on that colour and you can see that that colour automatically goes down to the foreground colour down there. So now all we need to do is use the brush and just uh, wipe over our selected area. And because we're on the right layer, um, it's not going to go over anything that we don't want it to deselect that. So now what we need to do is uh, just tidy it up a little bit, um, move it down in position where we want it to be. Um, what you can see now is there's a couple of little imperfections around, around the lettering where, where we had the cut. So uh, all you need to do is use the eraser tool now. You can see that it's currently set to 5,000 pixels and we're just going to uh, reduce that down to a size that, um, that's going to work with us. Now you can see that there's a lot of different um, sizes and effects that you can create, hardness, softness, things like that. So it's just a matter of uh, you working out which one works for you and, uh, and for the, um, the object that you're working on. And so you gradually, gradually just work your way around the edges until it creates the desired effect. Our opacity is quite low, so what we want to do is just increase that a little bit um, just to help us along to get rid of any of, those, um, any of those edges that are clearly defined. So now you can see that um, our edges blend a lot more with our, with our layer. layer sorry. Now what we're going to do is just... Uh, merge those two layers together so like we did for our wood texture signage it's now grouped as one layer and then uh, and then that's about it just zoom out just to see what it looks like and uh, there you have uh, realistic signage in our new shop facade